Hello. Welcome to the Andrea and Stacy show. I'm Andrea. And I'm Stacy. And this is our 50th show. We're very excited about it. Actually, we're surprised by it. So everyone's got that. So just a, a quick foreshadowing. I have some drainage in her hair thing, and I feel drunk, and I ate a piece of bacon, which didn't help. Oh, before I came up. You don't even like bacon. Do I you? don't. Yeah, but I was, was cooking it. Oh. And I feel nauseous. And I was like, I haven't really eaten anything today. And I was like, I'll eat something. I'll feel better. Yeah. Well, you can't eat the potato soup while you're cooking it. So I <laughs> cooked the bacon. I was like, eating the bacon. And I was just, oh, goodness. Yeah. I, I've tried to eat peanut yeah. butter when I feel that way because it's about the only thing that settles me. Yeah. And I know it won't make me sick. I should have just went straight for the salty curd. That's like uh, my go-to salty stuff. But. So Olive peanut butter, um, all weekend, she followed me from one room to the other. It didn't matter what room it was. And then in the back, she'd wait to see if I'd sit in the recliner before she'd lay down. Oh. I don't know if it. I don't know if it was the weather. She's, you know, never really been scared of. Uh, thunder and stuff. Think she's hearing fireworks? She could be. Like, it was daytime though, so uh, wow. I don't know. It was really weird. And I gave her peanut butter, and I was going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I put peanut butter on the thing that you lick the dogs lick it off of, you know? And um, she wouldn't touch it. And I had a little bit of peanut butter and jelly mix left over, so I gave the cats the peanut butter. And she ate the peanut butter and jelly. And then when we let her outside, she ate the peanut butter because the cats were out there trying to get it. But um, I don't know what's going on. Peanut, peanut? peanut yeah. butter is her, like, thing. That's how I give her medicine when she has to have it is with peanut butter because she can't help herself. So I don't know what's going on with her. But And she uh, got up in the recliner with me, like, on her own. She jumped up there. She's 60, what, 65 pounds? She doesn't jump much anymore anyway. I wonder if we're going to have an earthquake. Oh, don't know. Something's weird, but she doesn't act that way. What are these? Caramel oh, corn. Oh, good. In Oklahoma, we have stores called Atwoods. Mm -hmm. And you can get it like a tractor supply and stuff, too. But when you go in there... Like, all the candy at the front, it's not the typical. They have, like, Reese's Pieces and Snickers and stuff, but they have the old-fashioned candies. Did I tell you about me buying those peanut butter things that I like? It's old-fashioned candy, and the it's white with um, brown stripes on it. Oh, okay. And it's kind of peanut butter flavored, um, but the white is like a pearlescence color. And I was, I, when I saw them, I wanted them. Like, mm -hmm. I was craving them. I opened them in the car to eat one. And when I pulled the wrapper off, it was just white candy because it was generic. It wasn't the real deal. And they had just put the stripes, stripes on the wrapper. I was so mad. That's low. <laughs> it's some dirty dogs. Like the Chinese <laughs> version of Uh, plugged my little cooler in, I bought. Oh, yeah. The work? Yeah. I am um, a member of an Amazon Sweet Deals page. And so there's associates that put things that are on sale. And I always read the reviews because you never know. I've got some really good stuff on there for five bucks or less. Especially stocking stuffing stuff. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Stuffers. Yeah. So they had this um, air cooler, and it's in essence just a fancy fan that you can put ice and water in. I looked at the picture. I've been wanting one, and it was um, on sale for $25, and I thought, I'm getting that because our bathroom gets extremely mm -hmm. hot. So when it comes in the mail, it's this big like this squared and when I open it you can't put ice in it you have you're supposed to use ice water cold water oh. I had pictures of ice there I didn't read anything about it I just ordered it 
but it if nothing else it's it holds uh, three and a half cups of water huh? um, but in it it has all these panels that absorb the water from the bottom and draw it up and then the oh, air is brought through it okay. so it is cooler yeah um, but it's also a humidifier yeah and so Jeff has put it on his desk um, because it's only a USB. You can't even plug it into the wall, so I can't put it. I mean, I can get my thing from my phone, but it's water devices next to the computer. Yes, so it's a great idea. Great idea. Um, but it is cooler, yeah, so um, it keeps the moisture back there where he runs all those computers and it gets hot. That's a really good idea. Even though it's a quarter, I thought it was going to be like this because I have seen the ones that you can put um, ice in and water. You know, we, that other place, you know, we're talking about air conditioners, what should we do? Oh, There's no yeah. real room for that. Well, if we got, you know, a traditional, like, heat and air unit, it would take up a lot of room. It, it'd just be a thing. It's doable, but it's not what I want to do. So we we're going to the non-typical heat and warmth method. They have those split units you know i think we're going to get one of those and a couple window units like that's going to be our thing but i was thinking you know you were telling me about just friend who had the ducking you know issue and stuff and i thought every year i hate turning the air conditioner on and it happens when we start running the heater too you know because we always have those in between periods where they don't really run much and uh i get headaches I always feel sick. I feel irritated. Like it bothers me. So I always hold off as long as possible. I bet window units and stuff like that are probably ones. Well, yeah, because you can pull the filter out uh -huh. and you can hose off the outside. Yeah, take the and front you can off see, and clean. Uh -huh. You no. can see in it to clean it. Yeah. So I, I don't doubt it. I mean, our, our ductwork in our house was there before we bought it and mm -hmm. so it's at least 40 years old oh yeah there's no telling what's in there same here and i'm not even sure if ours is completely sealed off so i know ours is really no telling what's i think in there. that's part of the reason the bathroom doesn't get as cool as it should because mm -hmm. i think uh it's disconnected something has put a hole in it or ripped it off i, I can know. see that it's attached for as far as I can see, mm -hmm. I've even put my phone in there, but I can't get, uh, the light doesn't go far enough for me to see, but I'm positive it's not connected. I, uh, I'm like you, windows open any chance I get. Yes. Sometimes even if it's too hot or too cold, windows are open if I feel like the air just needs to circulate. Yeah. Well, you know, you go into places like churches or libraries or funeral homes where there's never any airflow and objects that remain stationary for long periods of time. Yeah. And you just, they all have that feeling, you know, when you go into it, no matter yeah. what the building is or whatever. And it's because of stagnant air. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Old structures used to have underneath the buildings in the basement stay cooler and they would put vents from the basement you know, into the rooms, and that just naturally kept a good airflow, which would keep it cooler in the it's a summer and exchange of air. Mm -hmm. It keeps you healthy, too. And the watching those remodeling shows, they used to have what they call California coolers, which was like a pantry with just shelves that had, like, slits in it, you know. They weren't solid shelves, and there's narrow, and it had the, just an opening that went to the basement, because that would keep the vegetables and the potatoes and everything from rotting. It would just keep stuff longer and it was like better than refrigeration. So well and everybody used to have an oscillating fan mm -hmm. and they put a bowl of ice in front of it. Not just blew the cool air. Mm -hmm. Or like you were talking about that one time hanging the wet sheets mm -hmm. like through the makes a difference. It's, um I don't know, but it just seems almost healthier to yeah. some level. Not that, I mean, the small ICs get molded, you know, when they run for a long period of time and you have to clean them out, but I don't even want to know. Like, it's not the air them. conditioner, it's the ducking that's yeah. the issue. Yeah. Yeah. It's just creepy, man. We do it to ourselves and we don't even know. 
all in the name of convenience. And I'm not a professional by any means, but I don't know why ductwork has to be that flexible. Is it just easier to install than if you used, like, <clears throat> you know, insulated pipe? I don't, I don't know what the purpose is. Probably it's easier to go in and you can make it, um, you can get that insulated stuff. I know some of the older ductwork in our house isn't even insulated. It's just the stretched, it looks like the thing that goes in the dryer is what the old duck work looks like. Yeah, that's what ours looks like under the house. I've been under there right now. They just did whatever they had to do, and I don't even know how it's efficient. It's not. There's no way. No way. And, like, my bed's come out of the floor. So if you take the floor cover off and you look, you can see space around there. Yeah. I really should actually go and call it. And then you see all the dog hair and everything else. That's I have, when we first moved in here, I had to clean them out. Like, I was pulling out pencils, hair uh, combs, like, some, but some kids that should have down there. You know, whatever, just, I, you know, when they come off, big things can fall down there. And I had built, I don't know if it was out of hangers, I had some rigged up contraption. And I was, like, scraping and sucking and cleaning the part I could. It was Somebody's cat could have crawled down there and died. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. It's all the scratching is in, the, in here. <laughs> it's still in there. It's haunting you. Meow. <laughs> For real. It's the truth. Um, what is, today's the 28th, so we have a couple more days of this month left. Mm -hmm. And then I have a whole nother month of shop hop at work, which is picking up a little bit. So that's good. But I get Monday off. Yay. Yeah, Monday. three day weekend. That's so good. that'll be nice. That's good. I think Dean closed Monday too. Ash was taking off, so he took off. And I like those little extra days on the weekend. It makes a difference. It does. You can go hard. And still have a day to recuperate. Or I can do nothing and then catch all up on that on day. day. Yeah. <laughs> Fail accomplished. <laughs> I clean the medicine cabinet out. Oh. My main is my closets and my drawers. Like, it's a mental block. I just whew, hate it. But I did it. I cleaned out the um, medicine cabinet. I just, we have like a lot of supplements and herbs that you don't take all the time, but you may need them occasionally. So I just threw away everything expired, yeah. kept everything it wasn't. And I figure I'll just filter down if I just do that every so. Had some stuff that expired in 2019. I have no doubt that we do. You know, when you get that, that special medicine for some special thing mm -hmm. and you only need it till that's taken care of and then yeah you think oh i'll keep it i don't know why we think that like nose sprays and eye drops who's really going to open that after like the first go round? <laughs> i hope no one <laughs> but i'll throw it away <laughs> keep it in its original box and it need something to fill you through in a couple years <laughs> i might be bored in two years and i need to clean my medicine from it out well, no. <laughs> Oh, I guess everybody's been on the traveling circuit. As my sister and them went to jo explore Georgia, which was like their vacation that they got to rebook since they were supposed to go the, this time last year. Oh, you know, yeah. shut down, and so they enjoyed that. I've seen a lot of people going here and there. New Mexico's fully open as of um, July first officially, but Amy says it's pretty much rolling now. Oh, good. So. I think states finally got just desperate next year's an election year. Oh, wow. So it does feel better getting out and about and things. Good. Um, we've had people come in from Oregon, Missouri, of course, Texas, Arkansas, Kansas, mm -hmm. um, California. Mm hmm. Seems like I'm forgetting somebody. Just what about the Illinois? Trauma. I've been seeing so many Illinois tags around here. Um, if there was, I didn't know it. Of course, I think everybody's leaving the state of Illinois. Isn't that weird? After the last year, 
Well, if I didn't have to stay, I'd go. There's one couple that comes up and stays with another couple, their best friends. Mm -hmm. And the wives go on the shop hop and the men go with them. Mm -hmm. And she takes her sewing machine and they sew. So they do the entire shop hop. I don't know how long they stay. And make a friendship quilt while they're at it? I guess so. Do you know how long our retreat would have to be if we were going to pull that? <laughs> hey, you could knock out some quilts. I could knock out the quiltist and navigating to the shop. That would be the problem. Man, you running my machine and not getting distracted. End up in Colorado. What were we making? I'm going to do a table runner. <laughs> I would Google some shop by the same name in two states away and we would just drive and be like, i got to get something to eat. <laughs> I saw all your Halloween family. Mm -hmm. Or not Halloween, fall. Uh -huh. And Ashley, you know, that's her favorite time of year. And I thought, you know, if I were a nice person, I'd make her like a little fall quilt. And I was like, I don't know that I'm capable of making a quilt. And I was like, I know what I can do. I'll just get the big piece, sew a huge piece around <laughs> it, and then be like, now can you guys put on the back and the, <laughs> the binding and the all yeah. that squared up on two way around it? Go ahead and take it apart and re-sew it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you need to do. That's kind of what happens sometimes. But at least you would come in with the attitude of, uh, I know this is awful. Can you please help me? Instead of, isn't this the best quilt you've seen your whole life? Mm -hmm. I need to figure up years of experience at the quilt shop. Wow, you'd be getting in centuries almost. Because mm -hmm. Gail's had the shop open for like 38 years. She sewed before that. Yeah. Shirley. Yeah. And then Carol would be probably so much her. And even too. Chris. Mm -hmm. And then even me for the last three years. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot. I've never seen a quilt shop say, you know, 120 years combined experience, but I think it's a thing. Man, I'd be wearing it like a badge, even though I've filled up the last six weeks. <laughs> yeah. 120 years right here. And next to my name, it'll just say Master Color Matcher. I'll do the pie chart like Gail. <laughs> but you can't write your name in it because it's too small, so you go to the side. No, you got a lot of experience. Your mom taught you a lot about stuff. He thought, yeah, I didn't come into it blind. I just mm -hmm. <clears throat> hadn't made a My mom did a sewing project once for us. We had a sweatshirt and they used fabric to cut out like a mama cat and a baby cat, you know, oh. and they were overlaid. And then he just stitched around it. Yeah. There was a little bit of puffy stuff in there. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. And then you sewed a little bell and a collar on the cat. Oh. That was all the sewing. Did you wear it? My mom did. Oh, I loved it. But I love stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's handmade and someone gives it to me, do you know how I hard it is for me to, to go to Goodwill and garage sales and not buy you stuff like that? <laughs> I wouldn't care if you turn around through it in the trash in front of me. It's just like I see things and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, the golden leaf tree. Yeah. We went into a restaurant. I don't remember where it was, but uh, there was like the lady there must have collected them because there was big ones. There was ones where the leaves looked kind of green. There was ones where it looked like the red and oranges. Uh, like I don't know if she must have made them or somebody significant made them. You know, like yeah, when they were a thing. Yeah. But uh, I thought that's somebody who knows what they like. I love watching the videos of them making them. Yeah, it's this huge thing of like copper, mm -hmm. and then they'll they have it taped and keep it together, and they'll ridge on it because they're doing big trees, and they're like ooh ooh, and then they bend it all out and 
Um, I'm sure the videos are sped up, but just to get the base of it in the right direction, the, the trunk part, I guess, is what it would be, it's pretty cool. That would be hard because that one tree was massive, so I think... Yeah, could you imagine? No. Did you see what I posted that I've been working on? You're, yes, <laughs> I love those. I'm going to show I them. I love those. I was going to bring and I forgot. I would put it for sale like for $15, $20. Oh, least. I could do that. Um, I'll bring them, but that's a photograph and, I, I love and that's a buffalo. And um, it's an antique photograph, vintage, and I embroidered a spaceship on it. I love it. And then this one are just two kids and I put flowers that's pretty massive, but I didn't want to do a whole bunch of little flowers. No, no, no. It no, didn't no. feel the no. feel like, I like it. what you're doing. Um, I want to do an all seeing eye, but I got to find the right photo for it. And then um, I have a couple. The photograph's not real good, um, but he has flowers on, and she's holding flowers, and I want to do the flowers. You know, even if it's just a little French knot, I like that. But I have to get better. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to get better. You are good. Well, <clears throat> you have to draw on plastic some see-through. Then you lay it on the picture or draw on the picture because mm -hmm. um, the sizing. And then you have to punch the holes. to That's your pattern on there. Mm -hmm. um, you could draw it with pencil, but if you changed your mind, it would be hard to erase yeah. if it showed. So... See, and I don't really know how to embroidery. Um, I just space the holes out pretty far so I can, I punch I holes in as I'm going, yeah. you know. Um, but it goes pretty quick, and I watched a movie. It doesn't take me that long. Mm -hmm. um, I watched a movie while I was doing that one. and I love those cross-stitch things you gave me. I need to figure out how to frame them because I want to hang them up. But it was just like therapy for me. That's what this is for yeah. me. Super quick and easy, yeah. and I have hundreds of black and white photos that I've collected, like that um, buffalo one. It's not in focus. It's not, you know, but it's funny, and it's enough that you can tell it's a buffalo. That's what makes it good. Um, yeah, and I want to find some more of those, the things that I like, like the the eye, the spaceship, more of that trendy stuff. And do those on like unsuspecting oh, people. The spaceship things, or that's just gold. Yeah, you sell every one of those, like especially like anything. It's gonna be people's Christmas. I literally uh, went to this store before we went grocery shopping Saturday. I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought two packages of. No, I bought three packages. I bought the primary colors, um, and then one of the muted, like, roses, rose color, and they all kind of, like, deserty colors, and then another one. <clears throat> I bought needles. Dusty rose. Yes. I love that color. I do, too. Um, <clears throat> I had an eyeshadow that was dusty rose. I loved it. Um, the needles I bought... Because I knew I can't see anymore. I bought big eyed needles. But what I didn't realize <coughs> is that the eye is wider than the needle <laughs> because it's, you know, wider. So I had to use a regular needle. And boy, let me tell you, that was hard to thread. But I did it. I was proud of myself. Because <laughs> you're not just putting the. Let me. I do wait. better not looking. Yes. Just like I get between my fingers. I get as much spit as the end of the thread will <laughs> hold, and I put it where just the part is poking yes. up, and then I and take my thing, and it. if I just like wiggle it down, as long as there's two or three strands, yes. I usually can get it. Yeah, through. that's but the deal. I've seen those videos of people going, <laughs> "Lord help you, <laughs> get a needle for me." Yeah, uh, they ha we have fancy one at work that you stick the needle in and wrap the thread, and it just does it, but. I mean, what are the odds I'll have that near me when I get ready to thread a needle? Get those cheap little tin foil ones. I do like those. Put them everywhere. You know, if I could come across a bunch of those, I'd like to do a piece of art with them. Mm. I think it would be cool. Oh, I you could bend that up, art. you know, and just have them. I think it would be neat. You could even use needles with it, too, if you wanted to. 
there is. Mm -hmm. But they're, I think they're like $2 for three. And so that's too expensive to uh, buy new and then just, because yeah. I would need 100, you know, 50. Yeah. You know. Anyway, yeah, I was proud of myself for actually thinking and initiating and following through. I loved it when I saw it pop up. I was like, that's, that's perfect. And I've got those little postcards. Yeah. I do them too. I'll go over the letters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the ugly old postcards from other countries. America has them too. But there's like some... In the 70s, postcards weren't that pretty. Yeah. They were just factual pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, like it yeah. Was, it's yeah. level and it's all in the frame. And then there are weird colors. So those I could really, I could just write a saying over or just hit, put a big rainbow, like if there's water just coming out of it or something. I don't know. That would be great. Anyway, I'm excited about that. Um, I like to see your creativity. I can really tell the stuff that you make that you enjoy. You can? There's a different level to it. <laughs> I really think I can. It's true with any artist, though, right? I you can so. see the ones. There's certain reasons certain paintings are more popular than others. Yeah. Even with quilts, mm -hmm. you can tell the ones people had fun making and the ones that they they made That's because better. yeah. There. That was one of the best pieces of advice I think Carol gave me. She said, Don't ever make a quilt that you think somebody else will like. Um, don't use the colors that you think somebody else will like. You make the quilt you wanna make and don't worry about if they're gonna like it. She said, because odds are they're not going to like it anyway. You know, you spend all that time, money, and effort, yeah. and then you work on with stuff you don't like. She said, just make mm -hmm. the quilt that you want to make and then give them your quilt. And yeah. I thought, fair enough. Because if I was going to paint someone a picture, yeah. I'd paint them whatever I wanted. Right. And then they could hang it or not. Right. I would want Monet to give me one of his garden scenes. You know, yeah. I wouldn't want him to paint mountains and the waffle. You know, right. like, you yeah. don't want them to change. Unless you're one of those type A obnoxious personalities that can't even accept something without going around and trying to make it like oh yeah oh. got another quilt cut out and ready because Thursdays I'm gonna stay at the quilt shop till seven and so I think that'll be fun I've got two quilts starting this Thursday. Mm -hmm. But one quilt, I won't cut out till I get there because they have giant cutting boards. So probably do it first because it's easy. Big pieces. I've been into geometric type, not complicated, but just big swaths of fabric with like a triangle in it. So oh, I like I'm gonna that. eat all of this. Do I did it. not know I was hungry till. Actually, it's just really good. Well, my senses are dulling. Okay. Do you have anything? Nothing. We're going to wrap it. 50. We did it. We did good. 52 will be like 52 weeks in a year. So that'll be a big one too. Yeah. We'll really. done a year's worth yeah. of weekly things. Sure, it took us a year and a half. Hey. But we did it. That's still good considering everything that's been going on in our lives. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see y'all next time. See ya. <laughs>